Hey doctor, Roberto Monaco here with the Car Speaking Company. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about fear and the impact that fear has. Now, I wanna have a heart to heart with you though. Years ago, I did a presentation for a chiropractic group in Las Vegas. And in the end of my talk, I was promoting our class, Influencing from the Front. And a doctor came to me and said, man, I heard great things about your class. I want to go. I said, no problem. Here's the form. So, so he was completing the form with his information. And then I asked him, I'm curious, why do you want to go to a class? He said, Roberto, I have been a chiropractor for over 15 years. And I see myself speaking to groups, speaking to masses, telling them the truth, recording videos. And the problem, man, is that year after year, I don't do it. And honestly, he said, I have this huge fear of speaking. I have karma shyness. Something's holding me back. I say, no problem. I can help. So three months later, on the weekend of my class, Friday morning, when people were registering, this lady shows up and she said, I'm here for the class, for the influencing from the front. And my team said, look her name. I'm sorry, but you're not registered. She goes, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. My husband originally uh, registered for the class to overcome his fear, but he was so afraid to take a public speaking class that he didn't want to come anymore. He sent me instead. And I'm like, come on now. Obviously, the lady had an amazing time. She learned how to speak and how to influence, but we didn't solve the problem because the guy, the doctor still, you know, in Las Vegas with that fear. Isn't that crazy? Now here's the worst part, is that a couple weeks later, I went online to search for him. No website, no Facebook page. Uh, I call the number that I had for the wife, number disconnected. So I honestly could not tell you if the, if the guy was still in business. Right? And, and that's frustrating because we didn't have an opportunity to help him. Now, here's the point. The point is that fear can paralyze people into taking action. And I was having a conversation with my business partner, Jeff Perro, and he said something that I never, ever, ever thought about it. He said, look, do you know that someone, a doctor, chiropractic, for example, that if they want to, they can go through their entire careers and their entire lives with the fear of speaking or fear of communicating and just get by. And they actually can go, they can actually go die with that fear and nobody will never know. And I'm like, man, I never thought about that. So a doctor of chiropractic, let's say, I'm not saying you, but someone you know that is afraid to get in the message in front of a thousand of people, that person, he or she can, hey, you know what? I want to put my little ad on newspaper, ad on Facebook, ad on radio, do a little uh, group on, get some patients in. I don't have to step up because I'm afraid and I'm going to pass one year, two years, five years, 10 years, 30 years, then I'm going to retire and then eventually I'm going to enjoy my retirement and then eventually on my deathbed, I still have the fear inside of me I want to take with me. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. That's possible. But for me though, the way I see life, man, <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea because I believe that in the end of your life, you're going you're gonna to look back and say, man, do I, do I spend time with the people I love? Did I did what I love? Am I, was I fulfilled, not only successful, but fulfilled? Did I leave a legacy? Did, did I create enough impact? And I know not all chiropractors, but the majority of chiropractors that I came across, that's why I love the chiropractic industry, is because chiropractors in general are purpose-driven professionals. And I feel like, man, allowing fear to hold you back, <laughs> is that's not a good idea. And, and the, the best part about it is that there's a solution for it. We have stories after stories after stories of doctors who either A, no, they're not speaking because they're afraid or they're not speaking because they, have a, they had a limiting belief like my story is not special or I'm not a good speaker or uh, I'm not worthy enough to be in front of an audience or they had this limiting identity, right? I'm not a presenter, I'm not a communicator or I'm not as good as 
so and so. So we help these doctors shift and now they're, they're speaking every week, two or three talks every month, amazing results. So I seen it all. We've been teaching persuasive public speaking since uh, 2008, 10 years. So I hope that if you know a doctor of chiropractic, if you know someone that has a big purpose, a big mission, that, that has the desire to say, man, I would love to go and speak and move people into action, but I'm not doing for some reason, either a fear, a limiting belief, or a limiting identity, then please send this video to that person because we can help you, you can help them. You are always welcome to come to our class, Influencing from the Front for Chiropractors. There's more information on this page. Also, our Chiro Speaking Club. Or if you want a personal help, feel free to email me at roberto at influenceology.com. Don't speak to inform, speak to transform.